Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. And I'm back again with another thought-provoking episode. I mean, I've been trying my possible best to stay away from Zambia-China-related content. But it keeps on coming back to me. It looks as if my video is making impact in Lusaka, Zambia. Since the entire media in Zambia is refusing to address the issue the way it is. No sugar coating on this YouTube channel. If it's your first time seeing this face on your screen, please do me a favor, subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to like this video. Most importantly, since everyone decided to keep quiet on this matter, they don't know that we are an army on this YouTube channel. I know I have you and don't watch this video without sharing to anybody that you know in Lusaka, Zambia because we have to get this message out there. I mean, I was super embarrassed seeing whatever is happening in lusaka and what makes me so sad is that i know there are some zambians living in zambia right now who lived in china and got to know the situation that is happening in china that whatever is going on in lusaka it can definitely not happen in anywhere in china i just want to ask you brothers and sisters who lived in china and now back home why are you turning blind eye about what is happening in your country i mean i did a video talking about the dominance of chinese in lusaka imagine being called a foreigner in your own country by a foreigner well that's the predicament of a male zambian national who has chosen to remain anonymous the man was on saturday tent away from a chinese restaurant and shop called lankins in lusaka's long acres for being black and a foreigner in his own country if you have ever been to Zambia, this will not be shocking to you. I know some Zambians are going to get offended for me saying this, but Zambians are foreigners in their own country. I mean, going to Zambia for the first time, it was shocking to me to see Chinese signboards everywhere. Everything were in Chinese. How could you allow foreigners to come and establish businesses in your country and everything is in their own language. Something like this will never ever happen in China. This is why I'm saying that Zambians are foreigners in their own country. Yes, I said it and I'm not gonna swallow my own words. I'm gonna repeat for you to hear me clearly. Zambians are foreigners in their own country. I mean, this is so sad I got a lot of backlash from people living in Zambia, I mean Zambians, and also, I mean people supported what I said, they agree with what I said. But one of the replies that got me laughing was this one. How can you just wake up, why? Eh? You start just talking rubbish, rubbish, totally rubbish. Hmm? No, sometimes you wake up, that's why they say that when somebody sleeps, he looks better than he wakes up. How can you wake up? Just stop talking rubbish. Huh? Hey, Chinese A. Hey, Chinese B. Hey, Chinese C. Imwe. Aka. You just drop it from an airport there. You see a billboard. Where are they? Where are they are constructing? Why Chinese? They are putting names in Chinese. Is that a problem? Is that your problem? Huh? Are you the one constructing that uh, project there? So that they put you your name there? They have to put their names because they are the ones doing the project. Guys, let us sometimes appreciate. Or else we will remain rubbish. You talk too much. Okay. Maybe your friends from Zambia, they have called you to, to speak on behalf of them. We can speak even by ourselves. Chinese, they have done a lot. Learn to appreciate. Hey, Chinese companies. Everywhere is Chinese companies. Hey, Chinese product. You want them to come. Instead, they are teaching you how to do business. We don't know. Do you know? Do I know? I don't know. But they are trying to teach us. You just wake up. I'm going around. Even wasting your fuel. 
going around, you start now checking Chinese where they are, what they do. Is that making sense? No, it's not. It's not. I condemn that video. That is totally rubbish. Their government is the one paying that money, not Zambia. What are you telling me? You just wake up from another country, from another African country. You start talking on our behalf. And for us, we are just quiet. Yes, Chinese, yes. We are foreigners. Think of that. Even whites, they treat us wrong. <laughs> hey, Waromaya is in trouble. Like, really? I got... <laughs> I don't even want to put the whole video, but this was so funny. I mean, please, um, if you're watching this video, let me just advise you. You sound so ignorant and also bougie at the same time. I don't want to spend my time replying to you, but please, can you just change your wig? Because that's going to look good on you. From this negative response i got a very positive response from the mayor of lusaka i mean he actually agrees with what knowing that what chinese are doing in lusaka is very very disrespectful he shut down the restaurant he also shut down a barbering saloon in lusaka which does not offer services to zambians living in their own country but one thing that he did that made me feel so proud of him was this one? I'm the mayor of Osaka. Okay. Your workers have told me that you don't allow them to go home. So I want to find out why you kept them for two weeks and we've seen where they sleep. Mm -hmm. Why is that so? Why don't you allow them to knock off? No, there are, there are no way not allow them to, to go home mm -hmm. because you know the, the corona issue. The corona issue? Yes. We need to take care of them and the, the car will knock. How, how about their wives? Uh -huh. Who take care of their wives? They don't know it's wrong to stigmatize. You understand what it's stigmatize? Someone who's not sick. And to keep them against their will. What happens if somebody knocks off? What do you mean? If somebody goes, what will you do to them? Well, knock off. Yeah. No, no. Before we do that, we discuss with our friends. Yes. And the sun. Every the sun. Is yes, the sun. We agree. Yeah. Because we have the salary. Did you get that approval from the Minister of Labor? We are getting funded from our manager. It's coming. Did, did, did you, you concern, uh, get consent from the Minister of Labor? Anyway, it's illegal. Stop it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This corona came from where? It came from Wuhan, isn't it? From China. Uh -huh. So between uh, you. Uh -huh. And then, who is more likely to bring coronavirus to this environment? The corona issue now is not... Uh, corona started in China, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and in Zambia it came through Pakistan to here. Uh -huh. Between you from China and the Zambian guy who works here from Garden Compound, uh -huh. who is more likely to bring coronavirus in this factory? And first, the two cases, not from China, they are from, from, from France or from where? Which one? The first two cases. And the first case in the world was from where? Oh, you mean Zambia? Zambia? Or the whole world? The world, yeah, that is from... But... That's from where? You know, the is the sentence, from where? Yeah, America, before that, maybe it's the world, but they don't... Yes. They, they, they haven't to show the, the world. The World they, Health uh, Organization say the first case of coronavirus was coming from which country? This is, I know, I don't know <laughs> that. I put it to you, it came from China, where you come from. Mm -hmm. It came from Wuhan. <clears throat> Stop it, it's slavery. You can't force somebody to leave their family and their wives and you lock them up in there. The way they are sleeping, there's no social distance. You put six people in one container. If one of them has it, they'll give it to the rest of the people there. It's wrong. It's slavery. Slavery is finished in the world before you are born. Now you are bringing just slavery to get an adult to work for you and leave their family by force. And before they will whip them if they leave the, the field where they were planting cocoa and sugar cane. That's what you are doing. But this is not the matter of not liking Chinese people or being anti-China. But something like this doesn't make sense. 
It seems that most of you have never lived in China, so you really don't understand what is going on. Let me tell you something. Chinese people, they don't even have freedom in China. The Chinese people that you people respect so much don't even have freedom in their own country. So when they get the chance or they get a privilege to enjoy this kind of freedom, they try to misuse the freedom that they have. How can you keep six people in one container? This is another colonization or this is another slavery that is happening on the continent, which is so sad that the people in power in Africa have kept quiet. These are the things that when I see it happening on the continent, I feel like, where at all should we call home? Because when we are abroad, they disrespect us. In our own country, they also disrespect us. What crime did black people commit? I just don't understand. And the people who are supposed to protect and take care of the people are quiet. This is what made me so proud about the mayor of Lusaka from speaking without fearing anything. Don't watch this video without sharing. I mean, one of the things that saddens my heart is that they even made this guy apologize. I wish to apologize unreservedly to the following. Did you know that this guy was in the news in Taiwan? Yes. Mao Simpa was in the news in Taiwan when they were calling him Mao Simpa is anti-China. And he hates Chinese people. That's the tag that they know him that he's anti-China. Watch again Jungoran Shoisha. What did your Isha Jungoran Zai Kangwala? Tika Bushi was she Fen Huandare. Wa e dia butawian jungo. Tessi ni chu bier and the goja da shuho ni de zunjun tamanda wanhua ni de zunjun tamanda falu ni de zunjun bendi the ren. Iwe wameli ajilao, ne zai jungwa jishe donshi ni buna nzuo, ne zai jungwa jiang de jihwe ni meyo, ne zai jungwa jiang de ziyo, ne jen meyo. What? How? Kujishuo wa shobu lia, wabujirao, jungwa renzai, ishe jungwa renzai fejo, ne menzama shia. They made my simple apologize, and it was really disturbing. A statement by Maus Buadia Samba, the mayor of Lusaka, uh, dated today, 27th May, 2020, Wednesday. I wish to review events of last week and over the weekend as regards my monitoring and conduct towards some business houses. I accept my error in judgment of physically going to the business premises instead of engaging relevant offices and institutions. I can give guidance, but actual execution of revoking trading licenses for any trader or business house that may be found wanting or in breach of any law of the land need to be done by relevant offices and institutions. Above said, I wish to apologize unreservedly to the following. One, the Chinese community in the city of Lusaka and beyond for the tone and language used towards one of their nationals, in particular on the use of the word Chinaman. <laughs> on the use of the word Chinaman. When did Chinaman became derogatory word? Oh wow. Maybe you don't know. In China, they don't even call us African man or a black man. They call you Hey Gui. And has any of them come out to apologize for calling black people Hey Gui? Even the continent that they are on. Do you know the name of Africa in Chinese? Feijo, the land with nothing, but they are here, stealing, taking advantage of everything on the continent. And you people made this guy apologize for saying, China man! 
I did not know either too that it was derogatory. I did not know either too that it was derogatory term, but they have since lodged in a formal complaint against my use of the weight. They demanded that I render an apology. I therefore sincerely apologize to all the Chinese people. My calling is to respect all human beings, be it in deed or speech, regardless of their race or nationality. Two, number two, last one, I render my apology to all other leaders in whose jurisdiction my actions may have interfered with and put their offices into disrepute. I render my apology to all other leaders in whose juri jurisdiction my action may have interfered with and put their offices into disrepute. I give them my assurance that here on to always keep to my lane and mandate. I give them my assurance here on to always keep to my lane and mandate. Finally, I wish to assure all foreign investors in the city of Lusaka. Finally, I wish to assure all foreign investors in the greater city of Lusaka that my office is there to support their businesses 100%. And where we feel there is misconduct or breach of laws, we shall engage them in a more civil manner through relevant offices and institutions. Finally, I wish to assure all foreign investors in the city of Lusaka that my office is there to support their businesses 100%. And where we feel there is misconduct or breach of laws, we shall engage them in a more civil manner through relevant offices and institutions. I thank you all and may God bless us all. I am not a politician, but I'm that guy who loves the continent with all my heart. I'm that guy who is so passionate about this continent. I know the people in power has really filled the continent, but I strongly believe that if the youth of this great continent rise up, we shall overcome this. I know Mal Simpa or Mal Sampa did not write this whole apology on his own. He was forced to because you know what? Zambia is now officially the colony of China. And there is nothing that the government in power right now can do. This saddens my heart. It really breaks my heart. This is so embarrassing to the mayor. Like, he apologized to foreigners living in his own country. I mean, recently, they were mistreating Africans in Guangzhou. And the foreign minister of China, instead of him to come out and apologize, he did not. But rather came out to blame what? United States from interfering. You know, I'm not Zambian. But I'm African. The Zambian problem is my problem. Let's all unite as one and fight this war together. So, boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, don't forget to like the video, help me share, and let's ask the Zambian president a question. Your Excellency, why did you sold our country? Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'm going to see you tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out.